The topic we're going to cover now is what I call pre-immigration tax planning. Um, you'll see what I mean by that, uh, by one story that, that uh, I had early in my tax career. Uh, there was a gentleman who lived in Ecuador his whole life and collected Ecuadorian Indian art. He paid maybe $50,000 for that art, came over to the United States, became a U.S. Uh, taxpayer, became a U.S. citizen, and sold the Ecuadorian art after he became here and became a U.S. taxpayer for $3 million. Now, because he was a U.S. taxpayer when he sold the art, he had to pay a capital gains tax on $2,950,000 on all of his gain. Well, all of that gain did not really accrue when he, in the, in the year or so he had become, come to America. That gain all accrued in the many, many years before he even got his citizenship. But he sold his property after he got here, and that's when he realized the gain, so he had taxes. Now we learned from that, people who are immigrating here and who are going to become U.S. taxpayers from foreign countries, they need to look at their portfolios, they need to look at their income, and they need to make sure that they do tax transactions before they get here so that they can realize the gain that they have had they can realize their accumulated wealth from a tax standpoint before they got here. If this gentleman had sold his Ecuadorian art one day before he became a U.S. taxpayer, he would not have been subject to tax on that, on that art. He would have been a foreign, a foreign resident, not a U.S. taxpayer, and had sold, sold uh, property that he, his gain had accrued while he was a foreigner. So our, our pre-immigration tax planning focuses on a couple of different things. First, we have to understand when does a taxpayer become a U.S. taxpayer? A foreign, when does a foreign national become a U.S. taxpayer? They can become U.S. taxpayers when they get a green card, which allows permanent residency. The moment you have your green card and you are on American soil, you become a U.S. taxpayer. They can also spend too much time here in the United States. And there are certain time requirements that, that if you spend more than a certain amount of time in the United States over a span of several years, you can be a U.S be forced to pay taxes as a U.S. tax resident because of the amount of time you spend here. What do we need to do for everyone who is in that, in that uh, situation? We have four different items that we tax plan for. Like the Ecuadorian art, art seller, we tax plan to make sure that gains that have accumulated over the years be realized and recognized before you become a U.S. taxpayer. We do the same thing for income. You may have income that's owed you uh, from a company that's, that has not paid you your salary yet. You want to get your salary paid to you before you come here and you're a U.S. taxpayer. We also want to handle your losses a certain way. Losses are valuable items as tax deductions once you are a U.S. taxpayer. So if you have a, a, a loss, if that man had bought $3 million worth of Ecuadorian art, and then come here and sold it for $50,000, we wouldn't want him to have sold his art for tax purposes. Before he got here, we would want him to have come here, sold his art, and have a loss of $2,950,000.
that he might be able to offset against gain that he might make after he became here as a U.S. taxpayer. So we, that's the, the nature of the planning that we do. We do tax planning for on the income tax side to realize and recognize the income before a taxpayer comes here. If they have losses, income losses, we want them to defer those losses and not take them until they come here. The, and, that, and that is the very short form explanation of pre-immigration tax planning.